How you doing? So I wanted to address an issue that keeps coming up over and oh, now we're getting bright. It keeps coming up over and over again. It's about development. Is software development dead because of AI? I keep talking about AI. And let me just, it's weird. People seem to be misinterpreting, a small minority of people perhaps, are starting to misinterpret what I've been saying about AI. So what have I been saying? I've been saying that AI is not, N-O-T, not replacing developers. This is not true. I've looked at it. I've worked with AI. I've talked to people about it. Does it speed up the process? Yes. Does it eliminate a lot of older jobs like writing boilerplate code? Yes. Is it perfection? Does it work perfectly all the time? <laughs> No. Is vibe coding a thing? Yes. Is vibe coding going to replace all developers? No. Even the founder, well, the guy who coined the term of vibe coding, he recently put out an app and he said, well, I tried to vibe code it. I couldn't get it to work. So, you know. So vibe coding is not going to replace developers. Uh, AI, large language models are not going to replace developers. In fact, they're going to enhance developers. This is the message I've been trying to convey over and over and over again. Not replacing developers. Not replacing developers. How many times do I have to say it? Yes, if you thought you are going to write a bunch of boilerplate code for React, not going to happen. AI can do that very effectively. So what you have to do, you just have to train for modern day development. That's all. That's all. You know, if uh, five years ago when there was no AI, and it was all about React. React was the hot tech. And you came into it crying because you wanted to write Flash Action Script. I would have said, no, it's not about Flash Action Script anymore. That's over. You got to go with React. You know, would you have cried and uh, had kittens then? No. You would have learned React. AI is the new stack. That's all. You see a lot of these AI founders are hyping their tech. They got to hype the tech. Why? Because they got to raise money, right? There's a lot of reports coming out where the productivity gains are not nearly as great as people thought they would be. Very good, though. They're very good, though. Like, I believe over the next three to five years, you're going to see a 30, maybe 25, 30%, maybe 35% gain in productivity. That's great. It just means we're going to have much better software, much tighter uh, cycles, meaning it's going to come around quickly. We're not going to have to wait two years for a new release. It'll start coming out much more quickly, which means with all these iterations, things will just get better. So jump into it, but you have to learn your foundations. You cannot be an effective developer with AI unless you know what you are doing. Yes, if you're developing little one-off applications, little utilities for your company, yes, you can get that through with uh, vibe coding and AI, no question. But if you want to develop any substantial software, then you're going to still need to know what you are doing. So as such, uh, you got to get into you got to get into the AI. you going to people. The people are going to succeed, or the people do AI. Just like when the web came out, the people who succeeded were not the VB6 people. That got totally wiped out. By the way, it was very dominant in the early 90s. It got totally wiped out by the web stack. Uh, people who succeeded who got into the web. That's it. Get into it. Just get into it. That's all I have to say. So there you go. If you don't know me, I'm Uncle Steph. I train people in the ways of software development. I've been doing this since 1995 commercially. And uh, I have a mentoring program, links below. The best boot camp ever, although it's, it's not really a boot camp, but it's an interactive platform. And I also teach AI development as well. I teach you how to use AI in development. I teach you the four methods you can use AI. And I also teach the key programming languages and the key coding languages. So you're going to learn the web stack, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, PHP, Python, and SQL for the databases. And you're going to learn AI, how to negotiate with clients, you get certifications, all this stuff. It's the most comprehensive. And the great news is it's at the best price I've ever put it ever. You can check it out below. All right, thanks for watching.